What's up beautiful people and welcome to Kruger National Park in South Africa. Oh well, yeah, I saw it, I saw it. <gasps> Massive. today that this whole day would be worth it. Max, Max, Max. We just stayed overnight in a lodge nearby because we wanted to be up nice and early this morning to drive into the park. Today we are going to do a self-drive safari through Kruger National Park and we're going to take you along with us and show you how it can be done. We slept right next to the main gate, the Paul Kruger gate, and we actually have to make our way east. So we're going to go out for a different gate. So basically the trajectory of the day is to cross the park across. It is huge. It is actually the size of Wales. So it is a huge national park. Google Maps recommends two and a half to three hours. Knowing what we have to do, slow down, watch animals and all that. Probably going to have a full drive across. We rented a car in Johannesburg and the rental car, it's just a very small hatchback and it's costing us $55 a day for that rental car now to get to the Kruger gate or the main Kruger gate it is about a five and a half hour drive from Johannesburg and so far what we've seen of the roads they're pretty good so I think that that's relatively accurate obviously adding in stops along the way uh, we're about to head to the gate now so we'll see how much it costs to actually enter the park let's go let's go in this video you're gonna see big game you're gonna see lions, maybe not. You're gonna see elephants, hopefully. We're gonna see how this little picanto rental car can handle up in the bush. It's not gonna be the same as what we did previously, which was with a professional game drive ranger in the professional game range safari car. Now we're just trying to spice it up a bit, make it a bit easy, on, a bit harder on ourselves. We're gonna hang out washing though. We'll be able to give you a review at the end as to whether we think it's worth paying for a guided drive or just doing your own self drive. That's it. We're here, people. It was a super short drive because where we stayed last night was just nine kilometers from the gate. So it looks like we are about to enter just Good morning. Hello, how are you? Hello, good morning. All right, we've got some forms to fill. Instead of trying to drive directly through the gates, make sure you park and just walk to reception. So you are supposed to park, walk into reception, pay everything you need to pay and get all the forms filled out. And then when you drive through, you show that to the security gate. As soon as you come through the gate, I recommend parking and just to the right, just behind reception, is this sighting board that we're looking at right now. It tells you where all of the last animals were sighted. So you can kind of try and figure out where to go, or try and figure out maybe where they're going next, if they're like heading towards a river or something like that. There's no way that we are going to figure out where we think those animals might be going. I don't yeah. even know why we We're thought that was our, a possibility. Yeah. We look at it thinking, okay, let's plan this because those guys are exactly there. Yes, <laughs> they move. <laughs> That's it, we're in the park, guys. Put your safari guy hat on. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Our first animal of the day, a female kudu. This one also has a little birdie on its back. Which eats the ticks. Which eats the tick. Animal number three. Look at those. How cool is it that you can just hire a car and drive through a park and see giraffes? Just munching his dinner right behind that bush. We just spotted a male kudu. <gasps> Oh my god! <gasps> His horns yeah. are massive! Oh my god, I did not expect that. One of the pros of doing the safari on your own is that we've got all of our little creature comforts in here. We've got snacks, we had coffee, bottles of water, we got ourselves all set up because it's our car. Whereas when you're in the safari car, it's really bumpy. You can't really take snacks or coffee or anything with you. Um, so yeah, there's one pro. Yeah, and it's it's a, a crazy fun activity, you know, like it's a Jurassic Park in real world. Cause yeah. We're literally in our own car that you would have on an everyday basis if you lived here. Just looking for elephants and lions and leopards and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a different, they both have their own kind of like novelty experience, but yeah, it's a little bit different. So it's gone a bit quiet now. I've been driving for about, about 20 minutes, half an hour. 
So, yeah, running a Ooh, bit dry. Oh, there's a bunch of cars oh, up there. Oh, there's a bunch of cars up there. Hyenas! No, wild dogs. Wild dogs. Yeah. And they're all just sleeping, just cuddling each other. It's like a full-on pack. It's so crazy to think that we love dogs so much. And we like, you know, domestic dogs, we treat them like little princes. These little dogs look just like a domestic dog, almost. Slight differences, they've definitely got bigger ears. But they would for sure hunt you down. <laughs> Oh my god, so many. So many, oh my god, there must oh. be like... I can smell them from there's here. There's like 15 right here. Like all together, there must be like 40, 50 dogs. Pretty close. That was really cool. We're gonna move on now because let's get a lot of cars are starting to pull up. So we want to, you know, give other people a chance to have a look. And we'll see what else we can find. There's lots of these little kind of off-road sections that drag you down closer to the riverbed and then just all these trees that look exactly like the tree you would imagine to find a leopard in. And we just want to see one so bad and it just looks like the perfect spot. Yeah. <laughs> they all have this huge foliage like and then... Perfect yeah. branches for a leopard to sleep on and oh my gosh. They sound so the rare. The chances are so slim. Yeah, I mean hopefully we do but what we really want to see today is buffalo. Um, obviously, we'd like to see everything, but we've seen lions and elephants, and we'd really like to see buffalo. And I don't, I think leopards and rhinos are pretty rare, so. Oh my god. This is like the biggest monkey ever crossing the road. Where did it go? Oh, here. Oh, what the hell? It's not one of the ones with the pink lens. He's just like picking up food, eating it from the ground. I honestly didn't know monkeys got that big. It's so cool seeing animals like this just in nature. Like you don't have to feel sorry for them like you do at a zoo or worry about them or anything like that. It's so much more of an enjoyable experience. Oh yeah, I saw Elephant. it, I saw it. Elephants. Oh, they're crossing the river. Holy shit! Oh, wow! Oh my god! Oh my god! So this is happening right in front of us and just to our left. <laughs> this guy is here having a snack. And you can't see, there. but just behind the bush here, there's another four elephants. There's another one over there. there. <laughs> I think even if we saw nothing else for this entire day, just seeing so many elephants congregated, drinking water, eating food, like, that's really special. Stop. has got it all just come yeah. here the herd of elephants that we just saw you know we watched them for so long and then they were still there but they were just hanging out so we decided we'll go get a coffee and some lunch here and we just sat down and right across the river we're just looking at a whole bunch of hippos grazing in the long grass you can kind of just see their backs poking up out of the grass and see them walking around but just knowing that they're there whilst we have our lunch and there's crocodiles in that river. There was a monkey with a baby in the tree right here. There's a whole bunch of elephants right behind us where our car is parked. This is just the best rest stop I've ever seen. I just, oh my God, there's a hippo like opening its mouth in the water. Oh, cool. Oh my God, Max just walked away and missed that. Oh my god, this is, this is really cool. Ah, heavy now. <laughs> Full of food and not the healthiest. <laughs> but it was delicious and our few eating lunch watching rhinos, not too shabby. Hippos. 
Oh, hippos, not rhinos. So now we've got another 15 kilometers along this road until the next um, sort of main, I guess, picnic area. Or I'm not sure if it's a town. It's actually a little town, yeah. It's a little town. Um, and we just checked the signboard to see what's being spotted between here and the next town. They have spotted buffalo and rhino. Lipids. They have spotted buffalo and between here and the next town they have spotted buffalo and leopards so fingers crossed Let's it is go. the peak of the day it is really hot so That's leopards awesome. are really hard to find at that time of the day and buffaloes walk a lot so they could have moved on this is the best pit stop we've ever seen like there was 50 elephants three hippos a crocodiles all those low impalas monkeys, monkeys beautiful these beautiful blue birds that are just like velvet we had a coffee now we're all snappy mm -hmm. and now we have to work and find animals i mean the least they could do is put a flag and say hey there's a leopard <laughs> okay the, the car ahead has stopped it's reversing <laughs> it's just not moving the two at the back are just frozen completely ah oh, that's so nice Big ears too, hey? Yeah. African awesome animals have really big ears. Wow. Uh, we drove like, I don't know, 50 meters and there's another three giraffe. <laughs> I feel like you can see why in uh, the movie Madagascar they made the giraffe neurotic. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I feel like they this who they are. Yeah. What? You don't have doctors here? Well, not anymore. <laughs> well, what if you catch a, a cold? We go over to the dying holes and we die. <coughs> Look at them all. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Whoa, Whoa. there's like 10 of them or something. Oh my God. Oh my God. They are 10 meters from our car. All those two birds just landed on his neck. This is the most amazing thing I have ever seen in my life. Oh. oh my god, he's way bigger than the others. He's massive, hey? Mm. Well, never had a traffic jam because of holy a few giraffes. Holy. This is huge and it's three babies or something, I don't know. Yeah, is he normal size and the other one's a baby? So must be a hey? Wow, he is big. I love how we always just assume animals are male. <laughs> That's some bucket list things right there. Oh, amazing. No, it's because the best part is that we literally, well, I literally just said it would be so cool to see a giraffe crossing because we can really see the scale of it. And then literally a minute later, the funny thing is that actually this is the second time it happened in this trip. Yeah. On the way here, I was like, ostrich and we might seeing an ostrich and a meter a kilometer after that we we're driving on the highway it was, it was like an kilometer. ostrich it was like a minute later there yeah. was an ostrich turns out you don't need a game drive guide yeah just by the way i don't know if you've acknowledged my amazing safari shirt that could be the reason why we like this <laughs> but this shirt is paying off today okay yeah. to compare what we did to this i feel like maybe that wasn't a fair thing for us to think we could compare it this is a very different experience and I would say that this experience is almost 
better because we've actually seen so much more however doing staying in just the lodge that we stayed in was amazing staying with the guide that we had he was obviously so passionate about the animals and the country and you come to a pile of shit like this fresh ones like fresh fresh ones you take all three of them maybe like this you put them in your shirt and you pull them like this and you start turning to squeeze and you squeeze all the liquid mm. out of it i know it sounds like it disgusting very good. and <laughs> it's gonna taste like shit most probably <laughs> and the experience we have with that lion um the first one that we saw the night and even the other ones you know i don't think we would be able to have an experience like that in this national park because the lions are not going to come up on the road what it's a bunch of hippos oh my god that's a full-on amount of hippos oh my god excuse me i'll continue my conversation later there's hippos oh my wow. god there's like 20 hippos this is not a zoo guys, I promise you, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, this is just a nature reserve. They could literally go anywhere, but they just happen to go right here. Holy shit! His head? That's one hippo. <gasps> that is one hippo. He's so big. They are huge. Oh my god, I didn't realize how big they were. that you could see how big it was in the camera. But yeah, what a day, girl. What I, a day. Just this national park is so amazing and I highly recommend coming and doing a self-drive through it for sure it's obviously way cheaper to do a self-drive than to do a safari he made his hippo grunt all right let's go shall we anyway what was I saying about the oh yeah about comparing them they're just different I just don't think that the experience that we had with the lions or how close the elephants uh, came to our lodge, you can't have that experience here. There's just so many elephants and I just never realized. Like there's one crossing the road now, another one that just crossed. One right here. There's one literally. Well, this guy's just gonna block our path. <laughs> there's another two. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. There's another three, four. Okay, there's a lot. Holy moly! I feel like now I like there's a car behind me, there's cars in front of me, there's elephants all around me. If one of them decides to do something, I'm stuck. Oh my god, Max! He's walking right by me. I'm sorry. I've got to show you guys this. This is crazy. He's right there. Oh my god! This this one's coming towards us. I'm like a little bit scared because I don't know what to do if I'm, I know like just drive away and like there's a car behind me. Oh my gosh. That baby elephant is about to walk right in front of your car. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Should I turn the car around? Oh my god. Um, oh my I'm god. Out. I'm freaking out. Oh my god. No, I'm really scared. What do I do? What do I do? Don't move. Do not move. They're so close. Oh my god. There's one literally coming right towards us. Oh, Max, Max! Don't move. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> my heart is racing right now. Oh my god. Walk right towards us. And it turned literally the last second. I'm freaking out. I was too scared to even wind up my window. <laughs> I didn't want to make any noise. Oh, man. That was oh something. Oh, that was scary. Sorry, just sweating. Yeah. Just dripping in sweat right now. Oh, oh baby. My. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I did get a little bit scared right at the end there. Because he starts flapping his ear. It was, was coming towards us. 
<laughs> that was that felt like a new death experience. Guys, we went from the giraffe to the hippos to this in literally five minutes. Oh <laughs> like our emotions. <laughs> I don't even know how. Like my heart is going crazy. You gotta understand the size of this car is half of those elephants. God, <laughs> how is this happening? Oh my God, you're gonna jump in the car. Well, I can't go forward. There's like. Oh Put my god. Put yourself in reverse and you just stay there. Just in case. Prepare yourself. Oh, he's coming. No, he's just gonna walk by. He's just gonna walk by. Oh my god. I've, I've driven like another kilometer at max. And there's just <sighs> monkeys all over it. Look how big this one is. Yes. I'm gonna find you. Are they? Oh, we're having so many animal encounters. Oh, there's a croc right there. Oh, oh shit, there's a croc it's right, right there. <laughs> I think no one's seen us. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> A oh. hippo just I mean, yeah, stood hippo. up out of the water, opened his mouth as wide as he could, and then like rolled in the water. That was so cool. Okay, we're just driving away, and we just saw a hippo coming out of the water. This is the closest encounter. <gasps> and there's a crocodile with them. <gasps> and the crocodile croc just be like, okay, I don't want any trouble. Oh my god, it's baby! Oh no, he's just yawning. <gasps> it's just his head. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it was just. A giant hippo yawning. It was his head. I thought it was a baby. Yeah, we're saying they're out of nature. Oh my god. There's an eagle flying ahead right in front of us. There's the buffaloes, a herd of buffaloes on the other side of the road. And there's this on the right. So there are little stop areas along the way, like the one that we stopped at for lunch, which I didn't really show much of. So I thought I would show you, I guess, what the bathrooms are like when you stop here. And the one we experienced at the last one was really nice, really clean. Oh yeah. Paper, clean, sinks, soap, wash your hands. I mean, for a national park, pretty good. This rest stop is way bigger than the one that we stopped at and had our lunch and coffee. There's elephants just across. Oh my god, there's tons of them. Elephants galore. But they actually have a full on restaurant. It's called Mug and Bean, which is like a chain that they have here in South Africa. So they even have chain restaurants inside this national park, which is just. I've never seen that before. Well, we're halfway through the road. We're gonna press a little bit, otherwise we'll get locked out for the night. So let's carry on down to Crocodile River. Oh, oh my is God! Life. Oh my God! He was looking right at yeah. us, and then he turned as we reversed. That sucks. Turn around again, big buddy. That's the closest encounter we've had with Apple. Thank you. Right, yeah. A little conclusion to this amazing day and what you should do and not do. I highly recommend doing a self-drive, especially if you go to the area that we went to, the main area. So go to the Kruger Gate entrance of the Kruger National Park. Oh my oh. God! <laughs> <laughs> you 
Hello, scared Bob. me, Bob. So this is Bob, guys. Yeah. Anyway, highly recommend going to the Kruger Gate and doing that drive through, especially between those two kind of rest stops that we were at. It was like Nkula and Lower Shabi. There was just so many animals and they were close and there were so many crazy experiences and like almost getting trampled by an elephant was yeah. terrifying but also an amazing experience. Yeah, something we'll never forget. Yeah. And yeah, overall, I mean, there's always an advantage and every day is going to be different because it is a wildlife at the end of the day. Um, and the game drive will be a totally different experience because we couldn't go on roads that mm. they can. And also, the Kruger Park closes at night time, so you can't drive at night. And if you go um, to like a lodge like what we went to, then you can drive at night. And it's a totally different experience. Mm. Mm -hmm. But overall, 10 out of 10 experience. Honestly, it was yeah. so much fun. And for people that are not even from Africa or not even familiar with wildlife in that way, it is a mind-blowing experience. Yeah. When Max said, oh, we can do a self-drive, I was like, what? No, you can't. Surely not. I thought you know that they needed to have like guns and stuff because it's wild animals. What if something goes wrong? Like you need to have a guide, you need to have guns, you need to be planned. But no, you can just drive right through on your own. No big deal. This is Living Barry. This is Living Barry. Bye. Bye.